transfer of heat in this module let us learn about the transfer of heat when we place a frying pan on the flame we observe that the frying pan becomes hot because the heat passes from the flame to the frying pan when we remove the pan from the fire we observe that the pan cools down slowly this is because the heat is transferred from the pan to the surroundings from this we can conclude that the heat flows from a hotter object to a colder object now let us know how the heat flows by performing an activity take an iron rod fix few small wax pieces at equal distance on the rod clamp the rod to a stand now heat the other end of the rod after some time we can observe the falling of the wax piece that is nearest to the flame followed by the other wax piece next to it from this activity we can understand that heat is transferred from the end nearest to the flame to the other end the process by which heat is transferred from the hotter end to the colder end of an object is known as conduction in solid substances heat is transferred by the process of conduction however all the substances do not conduct heat based on the conduction of heat materials are broadly classified into two types namely conductors and insulators the materials which allow heat to pass through them easily are called conductors of heat metals like aluminium iron copper etc are some examples of conductors the materials which do not allow heat to pass through them easily are poor conductors of heat poor conductors are known as insulators plastic wood etc are examples of insulators try to list out some more conductors and insulators